Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to May I Scrap Lift You. Today I am scrap lifting the very talented Sarah Tucci. She is one of the uh, creators and owners of the Scrapbook Addicts Facebook group, which has um, a bazillion people in it. <laughs> it's a very popular group. Okay, it's not a bazillion, but it's a lot. So um, she has a night sky uh type layout and I'm going to create the same. I'm working in eight and a half by 11 today, which is a little unusual for me, but um, I am working on the album that I was working on uh, in, let's see here, in March for Make It a Mini Monday. And um, I am working on this photo, working with this photo of my uncle. He is watching the kids do skits out on Santa Cruz Island when we were there for a homeschool trip. I am going to use this film strip from 49 and Market. It actually came in one of my monthly embellishment boxes from Some Assemblage Required. And I am just loving this uh, film strip. I, I don't think I ever would have tried them um, just on my own. I don't think I would have just purchased them. But getting a little random sampling of them each month or during the course of several months in the embellishment kit has just been really cool because uh, they come in different colors and different sizes and different shapes as you can see well not shapes they're still film strip shape but um, some have cutouts and some don't and so I, I just never would have tried them without having access to the embellishment box so I am splitting it in half uh, in her original she has got some uh, like a central center band across her layout and so I'm doing the same thing but I'm doing it with those film strips and I really like the way that it looks now she is also using a, a bunch of acrylic stars up in the sky and a moon and um, I happen to have all the same ones because well uh, spoiler alert we are both on the same design team for some assemblage required and so we both have these and um, I really liked her use of them I'm going to go ahead and use them as well and then I'm also going to use this uh, chipboard piece that says dream on it um, not necessarily that he's asleep or dreaming but um, you know the whole trip was kind of like a dream come true for a lot of these kids and um you know, it's nighttime. It's just kind of a whole nod to the whole evening and all of that good stuff. So uh, the way to get these little pieces out is to just use a, an X-Acto knife. They are just tacked in in a couple of places or they're left um, kind of like they're, they're all cut except in a couple of little, little spots where you just have to like um, break the chipboard apart there and then it just they pop right out. So I am using some gesso to uh, make it white and then I'm going to go over it. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't even think I used gesso. I am just going over it with some stencil butter in uh, pearl white and that is from the crafters workshop. So I went over it with a couple of layers of that. Um, I know it's not a true white and that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, everything else is not a true white either. But I wanted to go ahead and get that drying while I work on the rest of the layout. So there it is, pearl white stencil butter. Um, and that stuff is really nice and creamy and buttery, hence the name. And it goes on super smooth. So I am liking that. And then I have these tickets also from some assemblage required from the embellishment box. And the chipboard was from the embellishment box as well. So getting a lot of some assemblage required stuff today. Um, I am using the stamp set that I love from uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's called Note Pieces. I use it quite often. Um, I have several different stamp sets that have these little journaling type spots in them. And this is one that I use frequently. But I do want to grunge it up a little because nothing is perfect on this layout. Um, everything ha kind of has that uh, worn look to it. So I just went ahead and rubbed a little bit of black ink off of my black ink dauber. Um, but I didn't go over it really thoroughly so it's not like I'm trying to turn it black it's just got a kind of like a tinge of black to it and then I decided to pull out some 49 and market rub-ons and they're like a mixed media rub-on in a uh, gray color and I'm just going to rub those over to give some splatter marks to it or some splotchiness to it so again they don't look perfect by any stretch of the imagination and I really like the way that that ends up looking as well I am putting my title down here at the bottom um, she has her title 
to the left of the, her photos, but I don't have room on my my layout for that unless I I guess I could have put it horizontally or vertically instead of horizontal. But anyway, I put mine at the bottom. She does have a little bit of stuff at the bottom of her layout, so I'm going to just move my title down there and that's going to uh take the place of the uh, embellishments that she's got. Obviously, she has more photos. Um I think my photo is a little bit bigger and my my real estate is a little smaller since I went with eight and a half by 11. I did leave a little spot for journaling on that grid marked a piece of um, stamped paper that I just tucked in there. And I could actually put a little bit of journaling around the word dream if I think that I need to add more. Uh, so we will see what happens with that. I don't always do my journaling on screen, so you may not get to see it, but um, uh, that's where my plan is to put it. And I am going to actually move the entire center section down just a bit. I felt like it was too high up um, given the amount of acrylic that I have at the top of this layout. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and move that center section down just a, a bit. So it gives a little more breathing room to the stuff up at the top. I'm adding a few more of the rub-ons to this bottom piece just to kind of grunge it up even more. And I am liking the way that that is looking. So I'm going to go ahead and use my liquid glue from Nouveau to go ahead and adhere all, adhere all of that down. Um, even though I used the white stencil butter, you can still see the uh, title piece just fine over the white of the stamped piece of paper there. Um, because it's not that stencil butter is not going to make it a true white because it's going over chipboard and I didn't pr I like prime it or anything with gesso beforehand um, or paint it white with like acrylic paint so it's definitely not going to be a bright bold white and even in the jar it's not a bright bold white uh, definitely not as bright as the picket fence paper glaze that I normally use which I happen to be out of so here I am just moving these down a tiny bit and just to provide a little more breathing room up top and I just like that a tiny bit better and that's the only reason. Uh, don't forget um, that there are a bunch of people playing along with May I Scrap Lift You and there is a playlist link down below so you can check out all the videos that have been released to date. If you are interested in any of the Sum Assemblage Required products there will be a link down below for that as well uh, so that you can uh, go and check out MK's shop. Uh, look at that. I did the journaling on screen. I also added a black star down at the bottom. I happen to have one black star. So I added that to the bottom of this layout just to finish it off. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave any questions or comments that you may have down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And thanks so much for spending time with me today. I will be back again tomorrow with another layout. So come back then. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe and bell notification and it will let you know when I uh, post a new video. Bye-bye.